Welcome to Speaking Life with Yancey and Victoria. Hello all. How are you all doing? And today is March 19th, 2019. And we just got through with a big uh, blizzard or Bomb storm. cyclone is what they called it. Yeah, that was uh, on the radar what it looked like. Just a Like a land hurricane. And uh, it was... It was like a, like a big swirl, and it was like it just covered a whole, like a lot of states. It seems like, is that yeah. what you would say? Yeah, we had some friends from Florida that were up, and I think they might have been used to that, but something that we weren't used to, I guess. And uh, and it. Just but they really, weren't here when that happened. Yeah, they were in a different state, and so we're really glad that they got out of here before that came. Yeah, really. And uh, down south, down in Nebraska, and to the to the east of us, it's just a just a mess. You know, there's a flooding still going on, and still got some snow on the ground. It's going to melt. And what we want to say is, we just want to reach out to shout out to the all the people that are going through, like our, our neighbor neighbor state in Nebraska, and the other people, other states around us that are impacted by this especially Nebraska that you know we just want to let them know we're praying for them and and uh and we're thinking of them as they're going through going through it yeah and and it it kind of uh affected some of our plans for the weekend with the kids right yeah we went up to a state that or a city that wasn't too far from us and uh it was uh the kids had a uh, um, competition. a competition going on and but um it got just it got postponed or couldn't be, they couldn't couldn't perform because of the weather and but we went up anyway and uh just had some family time over the weekend and got to see our friend our um other fam other family and just ate out and uh attended a couple of worship services yeah i went to a gospel concert yeah gospel concert and to see some of our friends there and so it was good after being inside for a couple of days yeah it was really good you know good to go see some some people we know and just uh kind of ended at a at a service with one of our um, really good friends and and uh someone that's really mentored us you know in the in the past and and been around. Yeah, and just helped us in our in our walk with the Lord. Yeah, um, that was really God good. has been good to us, I think. <laughs> yeah, good to see some of the people at the church too that we kinda know even and um no, it's just been a blessing, you know. Now something else happened, you know, this uh this weekend and I guess uh the other day with me and and I'm gonna I'm gonna share a scripture real quick. It said uh, it says that uh, it's Romans fourteen seventeen. It says for the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. You know, um, a lot of times we didn't before we knew the Lord. We didn't have a lot of peace in things, and we didn't have we could be happy, but we didn't have joy. And you know, even when we seen people, we'd kind of avoid them sometimes, and sometimes we'd avoid people that. Maybe we uh, were once friends with and we don't see them that much. Anyway, uh, and there's other people that we just really been friends with all our lives that we just, just like we never uh, um, miss that time between when we see each other. It's always just a joyful time to talk with them, you know, and just remember when we were kids, you know, and uh, and I, I had that experience the other day when I talked to one of my friends from grade school and high school. Anyway, uh, I wanted to share a picture with him. I didn't couldn't find it on my my phone or my social media, so I I finally uh, found it a little later on that night. I, as Vic helped me find it, huh? and and uh, I I uh, scrolled and and uh, hunted it down. But we shared some pictures of our other friends. I see, I, I had, and 
you know, he was just happy to see that. And and we kind of shared you know, where we're at, some of the things we were doing, and it was just a blessing to talk with him and, you know, have coffee while I was kind of waiting for a snowdrift to get cleared out. I had my van parked in front of my office, and they, so I took that time to go uptown and just one of them times to talk with somebody, you know. You it's know. definitely, and we definitely change things on how we, you know, I like sharing coffee and with, you know, sitting down and having coffee with our, with people and it's, it's definitely different than, and, and I guess I'm going to bring this up because we, you know, we're recently in the city, like I was talking about the city earlier that we went to and had our little weekend vacation, but uh, we used to go out up there, we used to go out drinking and and uh, we were actually downtown, and there was a lot of people walking around. I'm like, what's going on, you know? And and then all of a sudden, it hit me that that little strip there had a you know bunch of bars and stuff. And 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 I and I and it was funny to me because I felt like like I'm just so innocent, like I didn't know. And I used to be a part of that. We used to be a part of that crowd. Every time we would go up that way, and you know, we'd go, you know. Uh, drinking at the bars and partying and stuff and you know and and then um it just uh brought me just when Yancy was saying that just now and talking about you know how sharing coffee with people and sharing memories and stuff it's certainly a, a different level now I mean and when him and I were talking about it when we were up and uh, going down that street that strip there uh we were just thinking about how like we don't miss it at all you know and uh, the Lord's just been so good to us to be able to reach out to our friends and and share like that. You know, have coffee or just go out and eat or just hang out, talk with our, our friends at an, in a different time now, you know. Um, it's just, yeah, that's just been amazing. Sorry to me to. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Um, you know, as she was talking, you know, uh, sometimes we... Uh, get to share with people at home and you know and sometimes we get to share with people at different churches or or, our camp meetings or whatever but that's just uh really what our heart is just to to be around people and just to love them and to just to kind of them to be our friends and just get to get to know them and really build relationships with people Um, and i'm gonna share a little a scripture here because i think it's it's uh, something that the Lord put on my heart this weekend as we were at the gospel concert and and even when we were over with uh, at the other service and as we went through the weekend, it's just uh, something that uh, it's second it's First Corinthians twelve and um, it's actually twelve twenty two and it says no, no much rather uh, uh, actually I'll go to twenty one. I guess I'll go to 20, but many indeed, but now there are many members, yet one body, and I cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor the head to the feet, I have no need of you, but rather those members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary, and those members of the body which are, which we think are less honorable, on those we have bestowed greater honor. And our un- unpresentable parts have greater modesty, but our presentable parts have no need. But but God composed the body, having given greater honor to to the parts which lack it, which which lacks it, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should should have the same care for one another. For if one member suffers, all the members suffer suffer with it or if one member is honored all the members rejoice in it now you are the body of christ and members individually um so at the very end of this scripture in in 20 it says um i'm sorry about that i'll get to the very end here but earnestly desire the the best gifts and yet I show you a more excellent way. You know, sometimes we, uh, he shows us a, a better way to communicate with people, to our families, to our 
our relatives, the people in our community, and just to sit down and spend real quality time with them, you know. Um, and sometimes we don't get that quality time with people, you know, that, that the Lord's put on our heart, you know. And when we listen to him, I think we can he can show us a more excellent way to, to be a parent, to be a, a wife, a husband, and and just to, to love our, our families, you know. And sometimes it's it's some people that we've been around that know us the 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 most that we have trouble talking with, you know. Those people sometimes we kinda of want to avoid when we see you know? You know, sometimes when I, I think about this stuff, like you, you see people and you want to avoid them, you know, and uh, as we were talking about the, the flooding, you know, we seen I seen a post uh, that talked about Nebraska and they said, called it a flyover state because there's not a lot of population around here, not not a lot of people around, you know, there's a lot of cattle, a lot of things, and I actually seen a video where they're, they're going out and digging out um, some sheep, you know, out of the out of the snow banks, you know, and I thought that was just a, and where we went to services on Sunday night, there was a, over the door, they have a sign that says capacity 99, you know, and there's scripture that talks about to, you leave the 99 to go find the one, you know, and sometimes we uh, have to step out of our comfort zone and, you know, not everybody's meant to stand up at the pulpit and share, you know, not everybody's meant to, uh, to um, talk at the front. There can only be like one person up there sharing at a time. Only so many people up there um, doing uh, the uh, the worship. But, um, you know, really when it, when they call Nebraska a flower state, sometimes we just kind of go by people, you know, and it feels like um, something that sometimes we get left, you know, uh, feeling that way when we go, go somewhere and, and go into places and we don't, don't really uh, have people that real, feel real kind to us, I guess. And and um, sometimes it's just a simple thing that, that changes people's lives, saying hi, saying saying a couple things, spending a little bit of time with them. And our my favorite times are just sitting down talking with people, you know. And so um, I kind of want to wrap it up a little bit. And I, I know that Vic wants to share a little bit here on something. Um, again, like, like we said earlier, you know, we shout out to the, our neighbor state, Nebraska, but also the other, the other people that are other states, other cities, not that are going through the, the floods. And, and, um, I know that some people are, or uh, some of the officials are saying like, get prepared for it, you know, but we just want to say a prayer and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll just. I'll just pray. Uh, dear Holy Father, we just thank you for all that you've done for us, Lord. We thank you for uh, loving us all. And um, and as we go, as all the people go through the all the weather, the whatever situations they're going through, Lord, I just ask you to just to put their hand, put your hand on them, and and hug them, Lord, and give them comfort. And and um, as the official saying is saying, to get prepared, Lord, just help the the people uh, not to have anxiety or be anxious, Lord, and have that worry. Lord, I mean, I know it's natural to worry, but we just ask that you you just put it in your hands, Lord, and that um, they'll be they'll be able to think straight and they'll be able to concentrate and just to get their families out and do whatever it is they need to do. And, uh, Lord, we just almost can't even imagine it because, um, like here, we don't have a whole lot of floods happening and that we have, we're used to snow and, you know, different kind of weather, but floods is something I don't think anybody can get used to. And so, Lord, we're just asking that you just, just, uh, make a, um, just make us, make it safe for, for all the people and, um, and just help them learn. Just hold their hands and just just let them feel your peace. Learn. Just sprinkle your peace upon every place and, and just uh, slow it down, Lord. And um, we know that you are bigger than this. And, uh, and we just thank you. We thank you for 
for always um, being there for us, even though when we don't feel like it, that you are, that you're close by, but you are. And uh, and we thank you so much, Lord. And uh, we just uh, give you all the praise and honor and glory, Lord. And um, we just thank you for for this day, this night. And uh, just help us to always help the people and help us all to always be thankful. And uh, we love you so much, Lord. And we just give it all to you. And we just trust in you. And uh, and we th- and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd just like to thank you guys for joining us. And just our hearts really go out to all the people affected by this, both locally and just uh, in Nebraska, Iowa, South Dakota, and and you know that those rivers are going to flow down to those other, those uh, states to the south of us, and and if you guys uh you know want to help people out, just kind of look out there on social media, and you know there's a lot going on about the um, the flooding in different places where yeah, you guys can help out and stuff like that. But um, just thank you for joining us, and just have a have a good evening, and you know, like I say, good good night, good morning, whatever. And God bless. See you next time.